just getting set up for recording. There's halfway through this one, so it looks like we're in the end game. Yeah, so having a nice entertaining session today, just flicking through some games, uh, taking some disadvantages across the way. But it's all good fun. Let's just attack this bishop here. So as you can see on the screen, we've got the descriptors for the 1100, descriptor for 1500. So we're just eyeing this up. I thought this will be interesting because we've just done some games and um, we've taken some um, taken some losses and did some mistakes, some blunders myself. And I'm like thinking, oh, we, why don't we do this? Let's just um, see what we can identify for ourselves and see if we can make any improvements. I'm actually going to bring the bishop here. So the elements is really about the rating of the play, which is 1100, but realistically it's a lot higher than 1100, it's around about the 1500, if not higher in the majority of the games playing as 1100. And I was thinking, well, I think also when you go a bit lower into the thousand area, it's a little bit more fun because it seems like they seem to be kind of odd, ordinary games you know um nobody's trying to outstyle anybody based on my experience that's all i think we're going to go here with the knights with my chit chatting so i thought i might as well jump in and do some recording may as well don't want to waste it let's get it ev evidenced <laughs> let's get it evidenced what is this bishop doing Probably locking it in. I think we have to do something. I think we have to do something. I think we're going to attack this bishop first. Bishop uh, comes to attack blocks. Or oh, they continue with the attack. We take with a check and we can move the bishop out of the way. So we're looking at how advanced the players players are thinking. Because as you can see, the 1100 descriptor here, that it's based off of my own experience of years of, you know, observing that, you know, that type of standard of play. So it's not a professional type of descriptor, but it's my professional. It's my version. So it means something to me because it's what I've seen and experienced. Attacking the rooks is giving us something to think about. And do we bring the rook here or bring it here? His pawn's going to be hitting our bishop. Let's go here. We're looking to attack the rook. Yeah, so the 1100 basically starting to work pieces together. Obviously, they're doing, doing that. And their targeting is really quite good as well. Which is a lot better than my descriptor on here so instantly i'm straight away going this is a little bit higher than 1100 i suppose you can go well they're 1120 <laughs> not exactly 1100 um, we're attacking a higher piece so it does give us oh they've maybe given us a pawn do they get it back though i bet either do Probably will get it back. It's chomping at the bit for this area, isn't he? It's got a dark square bishop, so maybe we don't need to lose so much sleep over that. Bishop can come here and lock itself in, can't it? I think we'll do that and just stay there forever and a day. This is coming here to put a two on one on this pawn. Because they're really hot for that. Yeah, so even from, we're in the end game now, really. So they've made it through from the opening, worked the pieces together, many instances of confusing themselves with intricate attacking lines that leave them open to simple counter-attacks. A mini counter-attack, we've given us the actual pawn, but on the whole, the working the pieces together seemed to work okay. We've moved the king for what looks like no reason, so 
I'm hoping they're falling in line with the jumbled strategies and planning which causes erratic moves, such as like the king move, which sometimes work but mostly fall flat from mid to end game. So we're now really end game mode now, so I'm hoping they're struggling to find some type of position, but am I struggling myself? Could be pushing this, and then he's going to be pushing this, and then we push this. But then we open up our king area for no reason. Our rooks don't have any areas to go. So I'm going to just hit the pawn and see if we can target towards the king. Because with that king move there, they've done the x-ray for us. So this is not there. This pawn is being blocking, so this rook is not coming here. Unless the rook's coming like this to come here, which is an, which is a possibility. I'm going to charge up still towards the king area, try and hit the bishop. I do think that's the only thing I can vision if they were looking to do something like that. But they still do have the rooks put in the two one. Oh, this. So we do hit it and it can come here, it can go there, it can go there. Sit there forever and a day, so we're not going to be hassling it. But if we did push, he just takes, takes, and takes. Get support. So if we push this one, then we can get support. The only place it's going is here, which is still annoying for us. They've gone for the double. Now, if we go like this, if the bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes, he's looking shit, looking for the back ranky type stuff on the king. I think they're going to sacrifice the bishop. We hit the bishop, he still comes down, takes the pawn, maybe? No, don't think so. Moves the pawn, moves the bishop, takes, takes. Don't think we need to be arty. Although if we do do this, he pushes here with the pawn. We still get in there anyway. I don't think we need to lose too much sleep. It's only because it's messed up with my plan of coming here. But I don't, his bishop's going to sit here anyway, isn't it? Mm. Bishop can come here and block. But this pawn is going to get in the way. We move the bishop or move the rook up. Let's move the rook up. Overthinking the situation. What the 1900 descriptor is. Overthinking the situation a little bit or something or the other. Suffer from simple chess. Too simple the chess. So their attack line, it's made it quite clear, it's hitting here, bishop's gone to the annoying position like we said, we can hit it. So I'm not sure where it's going from there. If it does take takes, like we said, it might, it, they might just sacrifice it, but it's a piece extra for us if they sacrifice it. No, it's gone the other way, so now we can hit this pawn, but you can just drop down. Let's go here. Tun I'm tunneling my vision on this king area and I might be missing something. Got to be careful. Because they are looking to do this type of thing. Okay, he's taking himself off of here. So he's just locking this area down, really. Let's move the rock now. Oh, before we do that. Let's hit this pawn. Before all this kicks off. It's coming for the bishop. Bishop's on a white square. Can attack both of these pieces here. The rook or the pawn. Is it trapped though? Probably is. I'm going to start crying. 
uh, is supporting, but now we have to go here. He gets a pawn for free. Oh, okay. Bam. Bam. Got a passer. Bishop's in a funny looking position. That doesn't look very proactive. Oh, time's running up. We come here, we can push the pawn onto the rook, but he can push his pawn down. I suppose we can push up because the bishop's protecting. We're looking to try and do this. Can come here defending. Then he just goes. Oh, maybe he goes back again. No, he can't go back. Ooh. No, he might go all the way back. Sorry. Oh, he hasn't. Two minutes. Oh, come on. Got pawn as well. Oh, come on. This is not good. All right. Okay. Let's move. Magical moves. What's that? This rook's not getting away, is it? Don't tell me this rook's getting away. Oh, thank you. There is hope at the end of the tunnel. Maybe not. I'll pass her. You ain't kidding me, man. Oh, I've just given up the pawn. Not taking it. This is silly, silly, silly play, silly. Like I'm wanting to lose on time or something. What's the deal? Just protecting the pawn, but now we can go here. Oh, silly ending. Rubbish, 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 rubbish. Let's block the pawn. Let's just bring the knight in. Try and stop the fried if we can. Let's get the knight out. Castle. Okay, so they're starting working the pieces together. I'm going to work through the list. And let's do what we're not supposed to do, which is this. I like it. I can't get out of it. I like it. Ah, oh, they're not taking Let's take. And let's attack the bishop. So many instances of confusing cells with intricate attacking lines that leave them open to simple counterattacks doesn't look like that's happening at the minute so they're probably an experienced 1100 or it's a pet position that they're already they like 
Jumbled strategies and planning causes erratic moves, which sometimes work, but mostly fall flat from mid to end game. So now we're going to look at the transition from the mid to the end. And if that's um, fantastical, then we have to jump into the 1500 description. All right, so the long pause kicked in. I'm going to take the bishop. The knights come and defended. They've moved quick. Just attack the queen. It didn't look too jumbled at all. So let's look at the 1500 now. We'll start to understand the tactics. That tactics work best from good positions and end well from good positions. Starting to understand the basic transition phases from opening, mid and end game. Let's have a look at the negatives, but still hard pressed to apply these concepts. So they'll know about them. Looks like they do. The queen's gone all the way back. But they'll still rely on their ability to whip up a tactical line that has yet to find a solid positional landing. So let's hope that the negatives for the 1500 are going to kick in, that they're going to try and go for this tactical type stuff and hopefully mess up their back end or something. We can but pray. I like this. It does bring the rook into the middle of the ball, but it's got two pieces there at the minute. I like this. Let's do that. And the last thing for the 1500, better understanding of strategy, planning and calculation, but only applying these randomly throughout the match, causing an imbalance of decisions and applied moves. So let's hope all these negative things start kicking in now. Okay, so they've jumped down attacking the pawn. There's nothing behind the queen in there. So we can hit the pawn. Move the head get quick like it's got other plans. It's got to check on the king. What's he doing hitting the pawn? Yeah, I think he's come down just for the pawn, hasn't it? Our knight's got space to jump here if we get attacked. So let's just hit the knight. A lot of stuff's going to be happening in this centre, so I think we need to rally up the troops and start focusing them on being opposite the Queen type situations. Or we could challenge the pawn, which we like. Obviously coming back, I think. It does have this space here, which I think they may do just to attack another piece. Gives us something to think about. It's so not doing that is attacking a higher piece, which makes sense. So we can take and the knight takes back. Or we can move the queen. We can take. Knight takes. Or the rook takes even. This could be, this is that tactical thing. So it's either one of Jumble's strategies and planning causing erratic moves or it's more in the 1500 the tactical but bad position take take move and then take the knight move the queen move the queen move the queen move the queen here keeps on hitting us jamming the queen in a bit move the queen back knight has to make a decision moves but then this pawn is and do we do this no that's too arty i don't want to get arty let's simply take the pawn off the board but it is playing into their hands isn't it that's what they want us to do okay take rook or the knight the knight's under threat so you'd think the knight would take obviously does have check rooney but no we can put a check on their king. Obviously the pawn can drop. We're going to check on the queen. And we don't have anything else to attack or take off. So it might be a waste of a move. So currently there's nothing hitting our queen. So we could continue with the plan of being opposite their queen. Maybe this rook here. Or maybe just getting the knight off the back. 
Where is he looking to come back on? Anywhere? Back in the Queen again, but we get a check here. That's not happening. What else can we do? What is a positive? A positive. Don't want to do this. Push his pass, but we can take. We did that. Takes. Take. Does mess up the pawns, doesn't it? It's got like a majority there. Maybe we hit with the pawn that we want to be using. But then he can come there. Then we can take. Don't think they'll do that though. They'll be hitting our queen, but our queen is protected at the minute. If we did that, I think his knight's going to come here and attack the queen. And it's attacking the rook as well. So that's why it's not good. Felt nice, but it's not good. Maybe move the queen here. Mm. Right. Put the check on, drops the pawn. No such thing as a nugatory tech. Well, there is really, but you know, pushes. And then where do we go? Back this pawn. Then it pushes onto the knight. Here, Looking for the juicy square. That's not going to happen like that, but we'll go with checks first on this one. His move. Oh, didn't expect that. We wanted the pawn to come down, didn't we? Okay, so that's a horse of a different color. So now do we push the pawn? But no, because he's going to get the rook, isn't he? So that's just a terrible, that's a really good position for them. That's why they're just sitting there waiting. But do we move the knight now? Out of the way. Or do we squeeze the queen here? For what reason? No, the rook's not going to do that. But if it did, we'd take the knight off the board. Just them something to think about. Well, it's nothing major because we're not attacking anything, are we? Okay, we need to move though because that's going to be hitting us. We have to bring the knight off of the back, which I think is probably better. Let's move that off the back and see if we can regroup. Looks like we're going to get hit with loads of stuff now. Yeah, Queen's coming through. Hit the Knight. Well, sorry, hit the Queen. The Pawn. And then the Knight goes. Well, no, he's going to have to move the Queen. So he moves down one. Moves down one. We take the Pawn. The Queen's on the Queen. Because he's wanting this knight to come here to go do this. Going to go with it. It doesn't look like it. Unless of course there's an intermesso messing me up. I should have done that before. Oh. This knight's not got a check on our king has it? Please. No it hasn't. It hasn't. Time's running out now, so it's it might force them to start moving fast because my time is running out. It's coming for a back ranky type thing, is he? Coming for our knight here. Coming for our knight there. Still going there anyway. Oh no, I've trapped my knight. No, maybe not. Right, so we need to move this pawn to give space for the knight. 
Woo -hoo -hoo. Getting carried away. I'm on two minutes again, so I'm just going to have to bullet the moves out now. And he's defending. Let's go here. So let's have a look. Definitely 1500. Yeah, based off of the maneuvers they're making now. Let's hit the night. Most definitely not 1100. Sit in, take. Gets this pawn if his rook comes across. Or do we get a check on the king? Well, ish, but no. What's he doing? What if we take? Or do we put the check on the king? Knight puts the check on the king. Then we get like a mate, wouldn't we? If he does take. Put the check on the king. King moves. Something. King moves. We take. His knight takes. We get a checkmate. And check, but then he comes there. Seems a bit of a waste, doesn't it? A bit of a waste of a move, but maybe try and get, come across here before his knight's disrupting everything. Can we push this pawn or take? I'm gonna take. So what's he getting promoted? Pawns, pieces, rook, there, uh, bomb, down, blah, blah. Let's get the knight off the board. One less thing to think about. Actually protecting the pawn as well. Take. Let's come up for this pawn. Come down for this pawn. Quick, quick. He's still playing on. Still playing on. Push. Do not lose on time, dude. Come on. Go. 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 Right, no showboating now. No showboating. Get the job done. He says going for another queen. Wrong queen. Oh, for I'm going to put the other mouse in. This is, it's a lovely mouse. It feels good, but it's dragging and dropping. Too early. It's just dragging and dropping. It's messing my game up. And I'm still going in. Oh. <laughs> Right, new mouse. Probably still do the same thing. This one doesn't feel as nice, but it's it's sturdy. Going for the twenty pointer. King not castling, but we don't care. Quite like it when it doesn't get castled. It take it nice and steady.
Knight. Getting rid of the bishop. I love it when I say what's that and then a few moves later it's this is what it is Yeah. I've been on here a few hours now. Captured. Just messing with the program. Oops. Slippage on L6. Another slippage. Damn. How many slippages do we want? Oops, excuse me. There's more slippages. Oh.
Hmm. I'm going to take a break. I, I think I've been on here for a few hours now. Um, yeah, nice one. Nice tranquil game, that one. Very peaceful. We'll be back. <laughs> 